Eve says this. Now Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, and said, I have acquired a man from the Lord. Did she acquire or God gave? What do you say? Did she acquire or God gave? God gave. Because Psalm 127 says that children are a gift from the Lord and children are going to make us our heritage. 127, you know it very well. Behold, the children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward, God's reward for marriage. So when God makes marriage, He's very keen that we have children. So Genesis mandate is that Genesis 1.28, God blessed them. This is the first blessing. First blessing came for, for them to be parents, to be fruitful, and to multiply the fruit, fill the earth. So we are to be fruitful and multiply all our fruit in our children. And by that method, we are filled and fulfilled. If not, we'll have a backward. We'll have an empty. And that emptiness, we will try to fill in different ways, we will still be empty. So how did God expect us to be filled and fulfilled? By being fruitful and multiplying that fruit into our children. As I told you at the beginning, this, this goes as our own family and our spiritual parenting and our parenting in a work field when the senior begets some little work and according to God's measure and allotment, it can keep increasing from his own family to take care of ten more, hundred more, thousand more, ten thousand more. That's how God thinks about parenting, even in a work field. It's God's heart to do that through you. These days we are looking earnestly at how will God work through his Josephs, those who know him, those who love him, those who are devoted to him, how will he work through them to get a nation to be transformed into his likeness? Because God is a parent to each one of us. God is the parent to a married couple. God is a parent to, as Tushar said, uh, this Valentine's Day is for young people and there are old people and there are perennial people whose age got fixed at 30 plus. Uh, they also probably can come from. So there are young people, old people and perennial people. They are perennially young. They never grow old. So if you ask their age, they will say I am 30 plus and then they may say a thousand months or something like that. But they are basically Plus. So we, God is the parent to one person. God is the parent to that married couple. You agree that a married couple needs parenting at each stage. God gets involved. He can't leave it to laws. He can't leave it to systems. In marriage and parenting, God gets involved. So if the father dies, or father is abusive, aggressive, or missing, absent, absconding, God gets involved. Did you understand? If mother passes away, God intimately gets involved and he begins to be father if the father is not there, he begins to be mother if the mother is not there. Marriage and parenting, God does leave alone. Are you happy for it? Or you think he's a mentor? He will get it. So he will nudge the husband's heart, he will nudge the wife's heart, he will nudge the father's heart, he will nudge the mother's heart when you are missing at something, when you are being negligent. He will speak, he will do this to Christians, he will do this to non-Christians. Because he owns father, he owns parent. Did you understand that? He does not leave any home fatherless, any home motherless. He does not leave. He gets involved in parenting. Shall we say thank you, Lord? Now remember some moments you might have felt, I should have done better. At that very moment, God did better for your child. So remember some moment and say thank you. Don't have shame on this. 
don't have fear on it, don't have denial on it. There's not one single parent here who is who is perfect. Every one of us will have some grief somewhere. Wish I was there at that time for my son. Wish I was there at that time for my daughter. Each of you will have. I, I remember distinctly one day, uh, Hirantini, uh, he, her proper name is Hirantini, she, uh, she had some little pustules and I was trying to clean this. I was so diligent about it. She was eight years old. Neighboring Mr. Perera came and said, Dr. Mendes, what are you doing? Because she was screaming, I was raising my voice. There was only one incident. So we all have memories of not so good happenings. We didn't do well, but God did better. Will you say with me, when I didn't do too well, God did better. So during this message, we are going to get rid of guilt, misgivings, disappointment. Would I do better? Every one of any parent would have some occasion in memory about which he is saying or she is saying, Would to God I did better? I want to tell you, God did better. Say with me, God did better. And we are going to repent where we have to repent. And we will end up with renewing with great hope that our children are going to be our crown and joy. Will you say, with, say this with me? My children are going to be my crown and joy when I meet my Savior. No doubt about that, this will happen. God is faithful. What He began with you in parenting, He will complete even when we are lucky. We have a deficit. Own it up quickly. God is already working. Some of the mantras with our children will not be there when we own up and say, I missed it, but I know God covered it. Say with me, I missed it, but God covers it. And parenting is not a unilateral thing. Actually, children start homeschooling parents once they are born. Children started homeschooling parents once they were born. Parents had to go back to school. And I had this wonderful graphic, little picture I got and I put it on the FB post. A little fellow about 16 months old, putting the milk bottle in the father's mouth. A child homeschooling the father, meaning in parenting, it's a journey, it's education, it's a pilgrimage, it's a sacred trust, what is you want? It's an adventure and seasonally it changes. So till the age of five, child needs good habits and disciplines. So if you want to have your child to have discipline and good habits, don't try to do it after five, it doesn't happen. Good habits must be inculcated before five. So you have to go on with the child about good habits before the age of five or six. Okay? You can't leave things like when they brush their teeth, where they put their clothes, you know. Many other good habits, everybody say habits. Habits must be inculcated in the first six years of life. Six to twelve is training. That is, you are doing most of it for your child. Take it to school, getting them to do homework, is it? Uh, washing them up. Six to twelve, you have to do it's training. Training means your point involving what they have to do, virtually you are doing some of it. Agreed? Then 12 to 18, coaching. It's mostly they are doing, you are giving advice from the side. 12 to 18 is coaching. And when the child is between 12 and 18, you are still putting his socks up, pant, panties up, pant, trousers down and whatever else. Which means you have not trained the child by the age of 12. Okay. You understood that? Now we have a plan. Then after 18, it's friendship. Children grow. Parenting is done after 18 through friendship. And your graduation 
y disipé de 